The latest flagship smartwatches from two of the game's major heavyweights, but which one is better? The Apple Watch 6 and the Galaxy Watch 4 are Apple's and Samsung's latest wearables, and they're both very appealing options if you're debating which is the best smartwatch. This video will assist you in understanding the specifics of each smartwatch and how they compare in terms of software and usability. Because the Apple Watch 6 has been on the market for a lot longer than the Galaxy Watch 4, there are a lot more bargains on Apple's latest smartwatch. The Watch 6 cost €399 when we evaluated it, but pricing may vary depending on where you buy it. The Watch 4, on the other hand, is still relatively new and costs €249 upon launch, making it significantly less expensive than Apple's default variant. With 32GB of storage and the truly luxurious Watch OS interface, the Apple Watch 6 is difficult to top. Watch OS 7 includes excellent app support and its own app store. Samsung's Galaxy Watch 4 includes 16GB of internal storage and runs on Google's Wear OS 3, as the company collaborated with Google to replace Tizen, which powered previous Galaxy watches. Despite the lower storage capacity, the Watch 4 does use the new 5 nanometers Exynos W920 CPU, which allows Samsung's smartwatch to run at a high pace. The appearance and display of the two watches differ significantly, with the Apple Watch 6 maintaining the square display of prior models and the digital crown on the right side. The Apple Watch 6 is also available in silver, gold, space gray, blue, product red, graphite, space black, and titanium. And, like with most smartwatches nowadays, you can change up the wrist strap to make your wearable a little more personal. Meanwhile, the Galaxy Watch 4 boasts a circular screen with better angles and a fully flat display. The Watch 4 has a basic appearance and two small push buttons on the right side, similar to the active range. There are only six color options, silver, pink gold, white, black, and green, which is less than the Apple Watch 6. However, in terms of display, the Watch 4th of May went out, as the Watch 6's 40mm and 44mm models have 324,394 and 368,448 resolutions, respectively, while the Watch 4's 40mm and 44mm models have 396,396 and 450,450 displays. The Watch 4 also has a Super AMOLED display, which produces exceptionally brilliant colors on the screen. The Watch 6 has an OLED screen, but it lacks the depth of color found in Samsung's offering. The Apple Watch 6 battery performed admirably in our tests, taking only an hour and a half to charge from empty to full and lasting for 18 hours even with fitness tracking and location capabilities enabled. The Galaxy Watch 4, on the other hand, claims to have a battery life of up to 40 hours, and during our testing, it lasted 31 hours before reaching 7%. While some other smartwatches may easily outperform this, it is a significant increase over the Apple Watch 6. Charging this watch took around the same length of time, with our Watch 4 charging from 10% to 100% in 1 hour and 33 minutes. Even though the Apple Watch can get you through the day, it doesn't have the same battery life as the Galaxy Watch 4, even when tracking workouts and sleep patterns. The Apple Watch's health app is widely regarded as one of the best of its kind, yet, it was disappointing that the only big change for the Watch 6 was the addition of a blood oxygen sensor. With the aforementioned blood oxygen feature and an ECG sensor that notifies you if your heart is showing signs of atrial fibrillation, the Watch 6 is still a fantastic pick for both gym rats and more casual joggers. Sleep tracking made its debut on the Watch 6 with Watch OS 7, although it's not the most comprehensive sleep tracker available. There is GPS for precise running tracking, as well as other health-related functions like a heart rate monitor and an altimeter. The Watch 6 also tracks your daily progress through three rings, which do an excellent job of breaking down your effort in an easy-to-understand manner. You may also challenge other Apple Watch users, which is useful if you need some extra encouragement. The Galaxy Watch 4 is the first Samsung watch to support Google Fit, so if that's the software you're used to, you can connect your Google Fit account. Because the Watch 4 is a fitness-oriented watch, Samsung Health is baked into the UI, making it the easier option to choose by default. The Watch 4 also has a bioactive sensor, which can collect data about your heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and blood pressure while you wear it and even perform an ECG test. The new body composition function analyzes your body fat, skeletal muscle, body water, BMI, and BMR to provide a more comprehensive view of your health. 
All of these capabilities make the Galaxy Watch 4 a better option for anyone looking for a more in-depth look into their personal health, features that have yet to be really reproduced on an Apple Watch. The Apple Watch 6 is without a doubt a top-tier smartwatch that allows iPhone users to make the most of the Apple ecosystem, with some terrific fitness tracking functions to boot. However, when it comes to affordability and the expanded fitness capabilities of Samsung's latest smartwatch, the Galaxy Watch 4 comes out on top. With enhanced battery life, a bright display, and a minimalist design, it appears that Samsung has finally dethroned Apple in the wearable market. I hope, in this video, you get to know more about the latest unique gadgets in the market. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon as we upload gadgets videos on our channel. Thanks for watching. We will see you guys in the next video.